Imagine waking up one morning and when we check our smartphones for the latest from our friends, you find out that you are not allowed to leave your homes or open the curtains or windows for the next few days due to high pollution and extreme hot weather. Imagine if we wake up one day and hear this is caused by severe climate change. Although many contributors to climate change occur naturally, we as humans are also contributing so many things to be done to curb global warming. Global warming is exactly what it says, the increase of temperature everywhere on Earth. This doesn't mean getting a better suntan. The warming of the temperature of the Earth means sickness, dryness, desertification, and famine. Global warming disrupts the temperature in the ocean, causes glaciers to melt. And when glaciers melt, the water level rises and causes the temperature to change. One problem, many low-level countries will no longer exist. The climate will be dramatically different. We will have severe and extreme climates. This causes severe storms. Severe storms could have devastating effects on people's lives and destroy their existence. Fossil fuels are burned to generate electricity for home and industries, to extract raw material from the earth and to drive production lines. This is causing a 75% of annual rise in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Yes, you and I are causing this by our overconsumption of everything, including eating more than we have to and buying material things exceeding our need. We all now depend on cars to go everywhere. We don't even share rides even if we are going to the same place. Factories are producing as much as they can to keep up with our consumption. In Jordan alone, each person throws away one kilogram per day of trash or more than two million kilograms annually. You and I are not running factories, but we are the reason these factories keep burning fossil fuels to keep our appetite of consumption filled. We are part of the problem instead of being part of the solution. Each one of us can make a difference. Very simply, we must recycle what we use to make an impact. We can actually save tons of paper, lots of energy, money, human resources and time by this simple act. As inhabitants of this land, it is our duty to sustain it for us and for our children. For many years, we have contributed to the creation of toxic waste without realizing the full effect. Every day, products such as water bottles, plastic bags, food packaging and ordinary paper are dumped in the environment, not knowing the amount of time it takes for these items to decompose and disappear. The simple act of recycling can have great positive impact for a better future. With recycling, large amount of waste can be broken down to its original form, thus avoiding manufacturing it again. This will lead to less manufacturing, which results in lowering the depletion of the ozone and natural resource. Forests are being cut and destroyed at tens of kilometers per minute. This is done to make paper, which we end up throwing it in the trash after a single use. To make just one ton of paper, 17 trees must be taken from the ground. Two barrels of oil, 7,000 gallons of water will be consumed, and a lot of electricity, which could be used to light up at your house for five months. All of this waste can be avoided by the simple idea of recycling and cut the energy consumed by 70%. An average person throws away 40,000 kilograms of waste in their lifetime. Two thirds of this waste can be recycled. Recycling 14 trees worth of paper reduces air pollutants by 165,142 tons. Almost every hour, 250,000 plastic bottles are dumped every day. In the United States alone, 28.9 billion bottles are bought each year and only 20% of that is recycled. This constitutes almost 50% of total waste dumped in landfills. This plastic waste will remain in landfills for 500 to 700 years. 
This does not include the plastic thrown into the ocean and rivers and is responsible for contaminating our drinking water and killing almost 1 million sea creatures per year. Did you know that recycling just 5 water bottles can make enough fiber fill for a ski ja jacket? Another item that should be recycled is glass, which is one of the few items that can be recycled again and again. But unfortunately, most of it ends up in landfills and never decompose. Just like other recyclable materials, it costs less than half to remanufacture it again, thus saving natural resources such as fuel. Aluminum or Coca-Cola cans must be recycled. For each can we recycle, we can save energy to run our computers for 3 hours or turn a light off for 20 hours. The recycling of aluminum saves money, energy and manpower because pr products from virgin metal consume 100 times the power required to recycle aluminum. The amount of aluminum cans and other metals that we throw away every day can supply cars makers with enough metal continuously. Just imagine if that is done. We will not have to remove any natural resources from the ground. Just one ton of recycled metal can save 1,500 kilograms of iron ore, 700 kilograms of coal, and 60 kilograms of limestone would be conserved. The most abused and wasted natural resource is water. There are many countries in the world, including Jordan, where water is very scarce. Therefore, we must use water carefully and in moderation. It is very easy to start a recycling habit at home, but it is more important to implement such policies at a larger scale. Schools, hospitals, hotels and many other public places can make a difference by providing signage and containers to encourage people to throw certain items of trash in its proper place. During my recent travels, mainly to Europe and US, I was so pleased to see that recycling containers were placed to separate items, making it easier for the trash companies to collect and remanufacture these items for reuse. As we go about our day, we consume and have to throw away packaging. Both indoor and outdoor trash containers make it very easy for people to help with the effort. In parking lots, Color designated containers are available just for this purpose. In Spain, the large trash recycled containers are placed underground to avoid taking large amounts of space where pedestrians walk. There is a bin for glass, a bin for paper and cardboard, a bin for plastic, a bin for organic materials such as food, and even a bin for electronic waste such as old TVs or computers, and even used batteries. Walking inside buildings, colorful bins designated for recycling are everywhere. I was pleasantly surprised that all these bins were full of trash, which meant ordinary people were using them extensively. Even the janitors that move around the building, cleaning the halls and walkways, have a specially designed trolley that enables the workers to sort the trash as he or she is doing their work. I am sure this did not happen overnight and took many years of creating awareness, but in the end, they were successful. Such ideas can be easily adopted. A hotel in Jordan implemented a recycling program that became very successful, causing other hotels to follow in its footsteps. The response by the employees and guests was very encouraging, and they recycled almost everything that is recyclable including water that is collected from RO and filtration systems. This hotel placed boxes scattered near each desk and guest room hallway is specially placed there for trash paper. Each week, an employee gathers the paper and places it in a special container for pickup. The hotel has a lot of guests who use hundreds of plastic water bottles every day. That is all collected and also placed in the designated area for pickup. The hotel goes through a lot of towels that must be thrown away one day. They collect all the torn or discolored towels and reuses to clean floors, room furniture, office furniture and equipment. 
they have gone one step further. They collect old unusable cooking oil in containers and the company takes it and turns it into industrial oil used to lubricate machinery. This could not be done unless there is cooperation from others and a network of support such as a company here in Jordan named BE. On a weekly basis, they pick up all the recyclable waste to their sorting facilities in Amman. There, they make sure that waste is sorted properly and then compact it to get it ready to send it to a company who use all this waste to make new products. <laughs> I was very happy to see that not just large companies do this, but individuals like you and me care enough about our environment and drop the recyclable waste as this facility. In the following video, I visited BE, which is located near Cosmo Supermarket and is open seven days a week. هلا الشركة هاي بدأت بالحوالي تقريبا 2007 سنة 2007 شهر 8 2007 منذ بدأت ما هو معدل النموي السنة اللي هذه المركز لإعادة معدل النمو للشركة يعني كل سنة عم بتزيد شوي شوي يعني لأنه إحنا بدولة عربية صراحة ومش كل الناس بتعرف إيش معنى إعادة تدوير ولا بتعرف إيش معنى هدفنا لإعادة تدوير ففي نمو عم بزيد بس بشكل بطيء ما هي كمية النفايات التي يتم جمعها سنويا؟ هلا في فرق بين النفايات وفي فرق بين مواد إعادة تدوير هلا مواد إعادة تدوير اللي بتصير عنا تقريبا ما يقارب أنا راح أعطيك شهر يعني حوالي تقريبا خمسة إلى ستة طن شهريا من جميع المواد تقريبا حوالي من جميع المواد كم عدد الشركات والمشاركين في البرنامج؟ إحنا اللي بشكل شخصي شركتنا اللي مشاركين في البرنامج حوالي تقريبا ثلاثة وعشرين شركة من ضمنهم فنادق سفرات شركة مدارس هل ترى زيادة زيادة في وعي الناس حول إعادة التدوير؟ عم بكون في زيادة بس برضو نفس الشيء ما ما مش هالزيادة كبيرة في بس إن شاء الله إنه راح تكون في زيادة أكبر شوي. هل للشركة هدف الفلان؟ أكيد طبعاً إحنا هدفنا إحنا نقل النفايات لأنه كل ما بقل النفايات بقل الإشعاعات اللي عم بتصير من وراء الحر الحرق والصناعة لأنه كل معنى كلمة صناعة معناته في استهلاك في حرق في تلوث للبيئة أما إعادة تدوير لما يكون في إعادة تدوير برنامجها أكبر. بنخفف من الضغوطات اللي عم بتصير على بيتنا بشكل عام كيف يمكنك ان تقنع او تشجع الناس على اعاده تدوير هلا احنا بنشجعهم بشغله واحده انه انت اذا عملت اعاده تدوير هاي كلها بالاول وبالاخر الحكومه راح يخف مصاريفها لما الحكومه تخف مصاريفها الضرائب بتخف عليه بالشكل هذا ممكن الانسان يستوعب انه والله معناته انه لا انا بعمل اعاده تدوير عشان اخفف من الضرائب في الاول وفي الاخر راح ترجع لي هل من السهل أن تجد الناس الذين يهتمون بإعادة تدوير هذه الأيام؟ لا صعب شوي مش مش دائما مش كل الناس ممكن إنه نلاقي إنه والله هذا ممكن يساعدنا بإعادة تدوير مش الكل ما هي المنتجات التي يتم صنعها في المفاي من المفايات؟ هلا المنتجات كثيرة عندك المعادن بشكل عام إن كان حديد أو نحاس تقريبا أو ألمنيوم في عندك البلاستيك حتى البلاستيك كذا نوع بلاستيك عادي بلاستيك أسود بلاستيك بي تي تمام في عندك النايلون الكرتون الورق هاي كلها مواد ممكن نعاد تدويرها الزجاج كمان إلو عاد تدوير بس مشكلتنا في الأردن إنه مصنع الرئيسي مسكر لغاية الآن فمود عاملين عليه شوية يكستر. Recycling is a very simple yet effective way to save our environment. Thus. Saving the lives of future generations. It takes a little thoughtfulness, effort, and creativity. Start small. Every act counts. Start by looking at your habits at home. Things you use on a daily basis. You must be patient and stay consistent until it becomes a habit. Every piece of paper, magazine, or newspaper should be put in a special place or container. All the plastics that we use and throw away 
including certain packaging supplies, must be collected and set by themselves. The same with glass and cardboard. But just as important, we must do our best to cut down on consumption. We must consider the environment while we are shipping or buying something from the supermarket. There are some companies that use less packaging than others. My dear friends, we hear about the troubles the environment is going through, so let's be a part of a better future and give our children a gift which is irreplaceable.